G'day. In these videos, we are using PsychoPy and Python to create a, a psychophysics experiment, an auditory psychophysics experiment. Now, if you stumbled onto this video, um, and this is the first video you've watched, I just want to make you aware that we do have about seven or eight videos before this, where we go through a lot of the theory and we start from nothing and we create um, an experiment and a Python file, PsychoPy uh, file, which will play a stimulus, will play it, at, will also control the timing of each trial, will also do um, file saving, um, so initiating file, file saving, and will also play um, feedback to your subject. So if you um, want to get up to speed with that, please stop this video, start from the beginning, work your way up. They are a little bit long, but I, and I do take my time, however, um, uh, we go through everything step by step, so this should be un should be quite unambiguous. Um, if you've done that already, then we're going to get cracking onto the next part of our um, Python file. What we have at the moment, just to remind ourselves, we have a program that will play a sound in two time windows. Remember, we're, we've got observation time window one and observation time window two. And the program, as it currently stands, will play us the sound, the same sound, in one and two. But we know from now on we want to randomly select one or two because we're doing that two alternate force choice experiment. We're forcing the uh, the subject to pick one or two based on where they think or where they know the stimulus was presented. So just to remind ourselves. Here is the code. We'll bring the code back up here. And we'll go here. I'll put these on. Jeez, the birds are loud. So we'll go um, this and then we just this is just random stuff that we're putting in. Okay, press space to begin. So hopefully you can hear that. Right, so there's two beeps, one in each time. What we want to do now is randomize um, the presentation into one or two, not both and not neither. So again, I say this quite often, there's many ways that we can tackle this. The way that I'm going to tackle this is using randint, so numpy. And you'll remember when we loaded up and we started importing, um, we used pip to get psychopy on board into our uh, Python 3 path and we can use it. NumPy was one of the first things we got in. So import uh, NumPy as MP. So this is a standard uh, way of uh, naming NumPy, MP. And what we want to do is when we set the number of trials, what we want to do is also create an array of the same length and each, each position or each index in that array, we want it to be either a zero or a one. And that zero will mean that it's the, the first time window or if it's number one, it's going to be the second time window. Because what we're going to do later on is we're going to look at what the current index is and then play the sound in that particular window. So how do we do this? Well, let's call this uh, order and we'll go np for numpy random dot rand int two. We're going to select from two numbers and the size that we want is going to be the number of trials. So later on when we do 105 trials, the order, this array here, okay, or this list, I'm used to thinking about this in MATLAB, but this list will be the same length and so we're not going to get a number, uh, number order disagreement. Just to prove that this is going to work, we'll print out the order, we'll run our experiment, and we should hopefully get a, an array or a list, five elements long, containing either a zero or a one. So again, we'll just put some, some random stuff in here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So we've printed out zero, 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 one. So there's five elements in there. One, two, three, four, five. And it just happened to be that the first four were zeros. 
So this is going to do nothing. It's, it's going to present the stimulus exactly the same because we haven't told the program to only play the stimulus. I'll quit out of that. Um, we haven't told the stimulus to only play in the first or the second window. What we want to do first, however, is just run this program again just to make sure. So I'll go 0001. I'll write this down just to make sure that when we do have a random uh, array coming through. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, 11001, so 11001, so that is correct. Um, well, we would have to do a lot of simulations, but the numbers are different. Okay, so press space to begin, that's fine. We don't need that at all. So we've got an array, it's the same length as the number of trials. So now what we need to do is when we get into our main loop, we want to start to we want to use our main loop um, iterator. Remember, for i in from zero to the number of trials, we want to then go into that order array and go. Okay, we're currently at trial number three. We want the third number out of that list. So how do we do that? Well, let's call this uh, wind, as in the window. And this is going to be order, and then we want to index into that order, and this is how we do it. So this will return, or this will make wind, this will get the number at the ith position, okay, in the order array. This will also scale with the number of trials as well because we're just getting that single value and putting it into the wind. And we're using our main experimental loop to control the position in our array. So now what we have to do is we now have to say to the program, right, if wind, so remember this is the first, the first uh, observation we know, that's what we printed here. So we'll make it a little bit louder so we can definitely hear it. So if wind, so if wind equals zero, we're going to say this is the first uh, window. If it's zero, if it's zero, we want to play the sound. Great. But if wind is in fact one, we're not going to satisfy this conditional. And so therefore, Python's going to scoot over that. And we're going to lose that 250, sec 250 sec millisecond delay. So what we have to do is we have to now say else if wind equals one we want to core dot wait for the same duration uh, probe dot get duration Ooh. so this way we're always waiting the same amount of time and we're not going to screw up the timing so that's the first one we're now in the in the window here and we do the same thing now for the second time window so if wind equals zero now we just want to wait core dot wait uh, probe dot get duration that's fine else if wind equals one so this is the correct time window now we want to play the probe so here we have set the condition based on the position in the ordered uh, in the order of stimulus which is based off us getting using the, the numpy rand int function um, for the number of trials. This is how we're going to tackle the random placement. So if we run this now, we should see two things happen. We should see only one sound per trial. The second thing is we should only see it in either one or two. So I'll wear the headphones again. Again, we can populate this with muck. We don't care. So we have a look here, we're expecting it to be uh, the second window, the second window, the first window, the first window, then the second window, okay? Okay, we've made a mistake, haven't we? Because it was only playing it in the first window. What have we done wrong? 
Well, let's have a look. Again, we're not going to remove these these um, uh, mistakes. We are going to find out what we've done wrong. So wind is correct. Wind is going to return the order. Order I. So we should have expected it to be Hmm. We stopped printing it out, didn't we? So maybe it did work. Did we stop printing that out? We did. Okay. So maybe the array did return all zeros. Let's let's try this again. Maybe we were Okay, so we'll print now. Uh, print debug current position uh, current uh, window is uh, oop. so maybe I was too quick to say I was had an error those birds are loud hey outside mm -mm -mm. so one zero zero one one because remember one is going to be the second time window so now the next one we're expecting to be in the first time window. Oops. That was correct. That was correct as well. That was correct. And that was correct as well. Okay, so ah, lesson to be learnt here. Don't jump to conclusions until you know you have some conclusions. Right. It seems to work now. We have the ability to present just a single stimulus in either of the two windows. The other benefit of doing it this way is we now also have an idea of which of the two windows we were going that we actually presented the stimulus in. And if you remember back to the file that we saved, one of the bits of information that we wanted, we go down into the file, was what was the window that we presented the stimulus in. So now in our next video, we're going to learn how to update our file and save that. But for now, we'll leave this video here and I'll see you in the next video.